and his son Jesus Christ, before thanking the president, as well as the vice president and members of the executive board, for giving me the privilege to discuss the sermon in the 2020 Feast of Tabernacles online, caption, current instability in the world is a vindication of Jesus Christ and his word. Current world instability is a vindication of Jesus Christ and his word. In order to appreciate this sermon, we have to go a little back to about the very beginning. As a result of sin and the fall of Adam, imperfection and death came into the world. Mankind lost the right to life. Not only that, Satan the devil became the unseen ruler of mankind. Satan the devil has succeeded greatly to create the impression that he does not exist, that he is a myth, that the troubles that are happening in this world are a result of the foolishness, the wickedness of men. But the Bible makes us to understand that Satan the devil is modestly wicked. He is highly subtle, treacherous. He is so intelligent and so powerful that the human mind cannot comprehend or imagine the level of his power. From the fall of Adam, he has ruled the world, bringing sorrow, pain, torment, and death to mankind. What he has succeeded in doing is to cause mankind to kill itself, hate themselves, and destroy themselves. Go to John chapter 8. Read only verse 44. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Master, described him perfectly. And every word spoken by Jesus Christ concerning him is true and vindicates Jesus Christ and his word. John 8, verse 44. Please read. Ye of your father, the devil. Addressing the Jews in those days, Jesus Christ told them, You belong to your father, Satan the devil. Read on. And the lusts of your father ye will do. And the strong desire of your father you do. Continue to read, please. He was a murderer from the beginning. Then he went on to describe him as a killer. Taking advantage of the innocence of Abel and having his, Cain, his brother Cain kill him. And since then, he has been killing human beings. Children, innocent people all over the world, in wars, in natural disasters, and even man-made disasters. Please read on. And abode not in the truth. And he does not abide in truth. After all, he was created perfect. According to Isaiah chapter 14, reading from 12, right down to 20. He used to live in heaven with the Almighty God, and he was among the angels. He was perfect, but because of his ambition, he refused to abide in the truth. Yes? Because there is no truth in him. Because there is no truth in him. Read on. When he speaketh a lie, when he speaks a lie, he speaketh of his own. He is the originator, the founder of lies. Yes? For he is a liar and the father of it. He is, the li he is a liar and lie comes from him. This is the man 
unseen spiritual being of great power that rules this world. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 and 4, Luke chapter 4, verses 5 and 6, John chapter 12, verse 31, chapter 14, verse 30. And so, for mankind, their lives are full of troubles, and they live but a few days. According to Job chapter 14, verse 1. Job chapter 14, verse 1. But in these last days, in the age of the end of this present evil system of things under Satan the devil, the troubles of man, the instability in the world, they are increasing and they will continue to intensify. And Jesus Christ, our Lord and Master, gave us to understand certain events that will happen which have started happening from 1914. And these events are only going to be intensified. The troubles we face Natural disasters, diseases, instability in governments, wickedness in the world are going to increase the more and more. Please go to Matthew chapter 24. Read from 3 to 7. Matthew chapter 24, please read from 3 to 7. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, this was during his first advent, when Jesus Christ was sitting in the Mount of Olives with his disciples. What happened? The disciples came unto him privately, saying, The disciples now came to him and asked him a question. Please read on. Tell us, when shall these things be? They had been talking about how the temple was built and how beautiful it was. And Jesus Christ now told them that this temple that you see, one stone will not be left on top of another. And in 70 AD, General Titus, the Roman general, came in and destroyed the temple. Today, that temple does not exist. So the apostles were asking Jesus Christ, all these things you have been talking about, when are they going to come to pass? They include his second presence, his return, and the end of this world. But continue to read, please. And what shall be the signs of thy coming? What will be the sign that you have returned? And what of will the, be the end sign? of the Hold world. On. Hold on, please. What will be the sign of your second presence? What will be the signs to show that you have come back and... And of the end of the world. And of the end of this present evil system of things. Jesus Christ now answered them. Read on. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Go on. Take heed that no man deceive you. That warning still stands for every one of us. Be careful. Be very careful. That nobody should deceive you. Yes. For many shall call me my name saying. That many will come in the name of Jesus Christ and they are indeed many. Read on. Saying, I am Christ. They will claim that they are of Christ. Yes. And shall deceive many. And in this way, they will deceive many. Brothers, sisters, and friends, we all are living witnesses to the havoc the terrible things that false prophets are doing today. Before the time of Jesus Christ, there had been false prophets. Before 1914, at the outbreak of this First World War, there were false prophets. And after the outbreak of the First World War, 
Jesus Christ said there will still be false prophets. In fact, they will increase. We will come to that. Please read on. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. They will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Go on. See that ye be not troubled. He assured them, don't be disturbed. Do not be troubled. Then in verse 7, he now told them what will be the signs that will mark the end of the world and his second presence. Please read. For nation shall rise against nation. Yes. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdoms against kingdoms. When did this happen? In 1914. Before 1914, there had been numerous wars. Brothers, sisters, and friends, man thrives in wars, in killing ourselves, in shedding blood. That is what men thrive on. But in 1914, the nations of the world rose up against each other. And there were, the historians call it the First World War. By the time it was finished, 10 million people lay dead. Brothers, sisters, and friends, when one man dies, because it affects maybe somebody close to him, you feel it. But when 100,000, a million, it's like statistics. But we are talking about whole towns or whole cities being wiped off at the instance of Satan the devil. Please continue to read. And there shall be famines. Then he went on to say, there will be famines, strong lack of food, yes. And pestilences. Pestilences. And earthquakes. Earthquakes. In diverse places. In diverse places. Famine. After the First World War, there was famine in Russia. Over 20 million. Famine in China. Over 20 million. During the Second World War, which was a continuation of the First World War, millions died in India because of famine. We are talking about human beings. Then droughts. Then in 1918, after the First World War, what is now known as the Spanish Influenza, which properly started from an army camp in Texas in the United States of America. I beg your pardon, Kansas in the United States of America killed millions. Up till today, historians differ about the figure. Is it 25 million? Is it 40 million? Is it 50 million? These words, this fulfillment of these prophecies are vindication of the words of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ himself. Then in verse 8, what did Jesus Christ say? Please read it. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Brothers, sisters, and friends, all these are the beginning of sorrows. And so it has been. And the sorrows, the pains, the troubles, the instability will continue to increase, intensify, almost unbearable before the end will come. Go to uh, the same Matthew 24. Read verses 11 and 24. Matthew chapter 24. 11 and 24. Jesus Christ now gave another warning. Please read. And many false prophets shall rise. And many false prophets shall arise. Yes. And shall deceive many. And they shall deceive many. Brothers, sisters, and friends, in Facebook, somebody wrote, India and China produces 10 million scientists, computer gurus every year. Africa will produce 10 million false prophets every year. It's a shame to Africa what these false prophets are doing. They are deceiving many. And many, according to 2 Peter chapter 2, 1 to 3, are following their pernicious ways. And there are some of us, brothers, sisters, and friends, 
When we leave here, we'll go and join them. You are playing with fire. Read verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. There shall arise false Christ and false prophets. In this our neighborhood, we have one of them who is a false Christ. We are the Jesus of Onyibo, the Jesus of uh, France. Where are they? Like them, the one in our neighborhood will soon go to. They deceive many people. They misrepresent God. They lead people astray, and they lead people to destruction. Brothers and sisters, these things are happening in our very eyes. Words of God are Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is being vindicated. His words are coming to pass. Then, another one. Gross moral degeneration. Terrible immorality among human beings. Homosexuality. Lesbianism. Bestiality. Lying. Stealing. Killings, cultism, terrorism, religious bigotry, hatred, even among some of us brothers, sisters, and friends. Are there not some of us who are not greeting each other, even in this hall? And we have come to the Feast of Tabernacles. For those who are behaving like that, as you live here, go and see your brother, go and see your sister. Settle. If not, you have come in vain to the Feast of Tabernacles. Jesus Christ said so, Matthew 24, 37 to 39. But read the account of Luke chapter 17, 26 to 30. And then get ready, 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 5. Please read. And as it was in the days of Noah... That as it was in the days of Noah, yes, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. During the second presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in these last days, so will the people be behaving as they were behaving when Noah was building the ark. What were they doing? They did eat. People are careless, spiritually careless. They eat, drink, party. They're bothered about wearing clothes. They're bothered about being Wearing the latest fashion. Read on. They drank. They drink. Get drunk. Yes. They married wives. They married wives. Gone. They were given in marriage. And then they give out in marriage. It's not that these things are wrong. But when men do these things and forget to do the righteousness of God and forget to take cognizance that Jesus Christ has come, that the kingdom of God has been established, that this present evil system of things is going to come to an end, then... They are spiritually careless. Read on. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. As careless as they are. So they were careless in those days. Until the day when Noah was building the ark in their presence. And he entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed all of them. Today, the antitypical ark of Noah. In this part of the world, God's kingdom society is standing and warning people of the world. Many are not paying heed. They will pay if they don't pay heed. Like the people of Noah. Please continue to read. And the flood came and destroyed them and all. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Continue, please. Likewise also, as, as it, it was, was in yes. the days of Lot. As it was in the days of Lot. They did eat. Uh -huh. Lot was living in Sodom and Gomorrah. They were known for homosexuality. Great sexual perversion. Today, governments make laws for man and man to marry, woman and woman to marry. Even top government officials marry men and men, and women and women. These are the rulers of the world. Why do you think there will be peace? There will not be peace. Read on. They drank. They drank. They bought. They bought. They, they sold. sold. They sold, yes. They planted. And then... They invested, as many are doing today. Yes. They builded. Then they built. Continue to read. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom. Go on. It rained fire and brimstone from heaven. It rained fire and brimstone. And destroyed heaven. them all. And destroyed them all. Leave 2 Timothy chapter 3. 
1 to 5. Go to Luke 21, read 25 and 26. In this place, Jesus Christ talks about the instability of governments and why it's happening. But before Jesus Christ made that statement, God had used this prophet Isaiah to say in Isaiah chapter 24, verse 23, that the moon and the sun, they shall be confounded and ashamed when the Son of Man shall reign in Zion. The Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is now reigning. The governments of the world are breaking down. They will continue to break down, however powerful they are. The social fabric of society will continue to break down. Why? Because these are Satan's planting, built up by Satan. And Satan has been driven out of heaven. He has a short time to leave. His organization, his mountains are crumbling. So anyone who puts their hope, their trust in these governments of the world will fail. Read Luke 21, 25, and 26, please. And there shall be signs in the sun. And there shall be signs in the sun. We'll see events happening in government denoting trouble. Yes. And in the moon. And in the moon, that is the, the religious stars. organization. The commercial elements, the stars. With the COVID-19, many businesses have crumbled. With the COVID-19, False prophets are struggling to assure their people they don't know what is happening to them because they belong to Satan the devil. Read on. And upon the earth, distress of nations. Because of these, there will be distress among the nations of the earth. Disturbances, trouble, and confusion. Read on. With perplexity. And the people will be perplexed, confused. Yes. The sea and the waves roaring. The rulers and the ruled will be rising up against each other. We see it everywhere. Did we, a few months ago, the NSAS protest in Nigeria, the Black Lives Matter in Europe and America, and other things like that. Yes. Men's hearts failing them for fear. Reasonable men look at events. And because they are not spiritually educated, they become afraid. Men's hearts failing them for fear. Read on. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Which are those things that are coming on the earth? Destruction. Brothers, sisters, and friends, all these vindicate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and his word. But there is more to come. Go to Matthew 24. Read only verse 21. These troubles will continue until we will now enter the period known as the Great Tribulation. When God Almighty, through Jesus Christ, will punish the wicked, and then the Great Tribulation will be climaxed with the Battle of Armageddon, where all the wicked will be destroyed, including Satan the devil and their master. And Jesus Christ will now take over the rulership of the earth, to reign for 1,000 uninterrupted years, rebuild the earth, make it a paradise, and thereafter hand over mankind, made perfect, blessed to God Almighty, so that Jehovah will be all in all. Ma Matthew 24, read only verse 21, please. For then shall be great tribulation. Then shall be great tribulation. If Matthew 24, 7 and 8 are fulfilled, 11... Verses 11 and 24 are fulfilling. Verses 37, 38, and 39 are fulfilling. I tell you without fail. Verse 21 of Matthew 24 will fulfill to the letter. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be vindicated. There shall be great tribulation. How did he describe it? Read on. Such as was not since the beginning of the world. Since the beginning of the world, all the troubles we have seen, none will be compared to it. And after it is done, yes. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. To this time. And when it is finished, there will be none like it. There will, the rich man will not be able to save himself. 
Zephaniah chapter 1, 14 to 18. The dead on that day will not be buried. Jeremiah 25, 31 to 33. Those who are not in God's holy mountain, who do not have the mark on their forehead, according to Ezekiel chapter 9, 4 to 6, 10 to 11, all those who do not have the mark will be destroyed. Whether they are children, men, and women, it does not matter. But that destruction will start in the house of God, beginning with the leaders, including me where they talk here so. If I'm not careful, do God's will, I will not get salvation. So you too. Brothers, sisters, and friends, what do we do? Luke 21, read 34, 35, 30, 34, 35, and 37. Luke chapter 21, 34, 35, and 37. Please read. And take heed to yourselves. This is the warning for all of us, including me, the speaker. All of us should be careful. Take it to yourselves, yes. Lest at any time your hearts be overcharged. Lest at any time we'll be carried away with the cares of this world. What we eat, what we drink. My son's school, my daughter's school, my education. And we leave the important things, the spiritual things. Continue to read, please. With suffering and drunkenness. With suffering, party, enjoyment, drunkenness. Read on. And cares of this life. And the cares of this life. Yes. And so that day come upon you unawares. The day Jesus Christ has mentioned in Matthew 24 verse 21. Take us unawares. God forbid. We shouldn't. It shouldn't at all. Yes. For as a snare shall it come on all them. That to the dwell people on the of, the world, of the whole earth. It will come as a trap. As a trap catches a bed. Suddenly. Yes. Watch ye therefore. For this reason, study the Bible. Yes. And pray always. And pray always. Study the Bible to understand the signs of the time. And then submit ourselves to God Almighty and pray always. Why? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. That so that we'll be past. accounted worthy to escape the great trouble that is coming upon the earth. Brothers, sisters, and friends. Let us read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Read 1, 2, 3, then conclude with verse 9. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, properly from verse 1 to 9. But read 1, 2, and 3, then read verse 9. Please read. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. My dear brothers, sisters, and friends, we members of the GKS, we know these things. Of the times and the seasons, St. Paul wrote to the Christians in Thessalonica, we don't need to write unto you. Read on. For yourself know perfectly that that day of the Lord, the day of the Lord, we know, we have been told, it will come as a snare. Read on. So come it as a thief in the night. Quietly, without announcement. And today in the world, many don't know that Jesus Christ has come. Many don't know that the kingdom of God has been established. Many don't know that the end of this present evil system of things is coming. They are blinded by Satan the devil. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. Read on. For when they shall say, when they shall say, peace and safety. Exactly. The whole conferences, the United Nations will be there. Even the United Nations is a vindication of the words of Jesus Christ. According to Matthew chapter 24, verses 15 and 16. And then, Revelation chapter 17, verses 9 and 10. But time will not allow us to go into that. They hold peace. But we all know that the United Nations is a toothless bulldog. Can do nothing. Cannot bring peace. Read on. Then sudden destruction comes upon think, them. When they think it's peace, sudden destruction will come upon them. But for us Christians, it should not be so. We are not in darkness. We are not children of night, the night. We are not ignorant. Destroy us. But rather, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. But to give us everlasting life. Protect us and bless us with life everlasting. 
in his kingdom when it is fully established. Brothers, sisters, and friends, the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Thank you very much for listening to me. Happy Feast of Tabernacles. Thank you very much, brother.